And then, so, uh, was there some early artificial intelligence work that you did on that system? Well, yes. Um, on a game playing, we did a game of Kala, mm -hmm. um, and we're able to establish that uh, if there was started with three stones in each pit, it was a win for the first player. Uh, that is to prove that rigorously. Uh, we also, the programs indicated that it was a win for the first player with four, five, and six, but we didn't have an actual uh, proof of it. The PDP one was not powerful mm -hmm. enough to do that. Was there any work on chess at that time? Uh, not at Stanford. Not at Stanford. Or rather, actually, mm -hmm. uh, I started on a chess program when I was at MIT, mm -hmm. and uh, I taught the first course at MIT in programming for freshmen. Mm -hmm. And uh, three of the people who finished that course uh, took up the, my start of a chess program and uh, wrote uh, a chess program for the IBM computers in, in Fortran. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, that was uh, Alan Kotak's mm -hmm. senior thesis. So he started out on it as a sophomore and finished it. Now, your interest in artificial intelligence, of course, uh, which got really going in pretty good shape uh, with, along with the Dartmouth Conference, you had written a paper which you gave in 1958 at Teddington. Yeah, uh, that was Programs that? with Common Sense. Mm -hmm. um, that was the, the first uh, set of ideas that I had in which I retained confidence is that they were on the right track. You know, as I told you, I didn't like the ideas that I, I'm evolving automata that I discussed with von Neumann. And uh, in the automata studies, I had a paper, Inversion of Functions Defined by Turing Machines, uh, which basically had the same defect. It didn't really permit direct representation of common sense information. So you wanted to be able to represent common sense information in some kind of language which was declarative, and you had thought about the use of logic. So do you want to say a little bit more about those ideas? They were described in your 1958 paper, but have been ideas you've been pursuing ever since, actually, right? Well, that's correct. Um, and uh, basically, uh, mathematical logic as invented by, well, uh, Frege, I would say, uh, uh, in 1879. Of course, the formal logic goes all the way back to Aristotle, but Frege's system was the first one that was sufficiently expressive. Um, and that's good enough, in my opinion, for common sense. One needs some extensions for non-monotonic reasoning, and I think one also reason needs an extension for context as uh, objects. Uh, but it's uh, good enough. The logicians, however, have not been interested in pursuing common sense 